Well, here we are talking about linebackers on this position preview. Guys, I love talking about the Panthers linebackers because I think you got the best core in the crew in the in the NFL from top to bottom. Let's start with Luke Keekley, best defensive player in the league. I mean, good starting spot, of course, with Luke coming off another amazing year. Had some injury problems early with that that concussion in the in the season opener, but still, you look at the tackle totals at the end of the year. He's right back up there with the elite guys in the league. Uh, coming off off-season shoulder surgery, played through that in the postseason seamlessly. No surprise there. Took it a little easy in OTAs. Uh, we'll see him at full force in training camp. Well, you look at Thomas Davis during the playoffs. I mean, goes into the Super Bowl playing with a broken bone in his arm. Is there anything he wouldn't do for this team or his teammates? I, don't, I certainly don't <laughs> think so. I mean, he's proven that. I mean, what can you say about Thomas Davis that we haven't already? The guy seems to be getting better with age. He's put so much of that adversity behind him and moved forward to a point in his career now where people tend to slow down. He's only getting faster. And he's been so productive, such a great leader for this defense. Talk about the production last year. Of course, the tackles have always been there. He's always been such a hard hitter, but four interceptions as well, rushing the passer with some effectiveness. I mean, he's really developed into a do-everything outside linebacker, and he's been so vital to this defense's success. Luke, of course, gets all the headlines. He's the guy who's the big star in the league right now. But I tell you, Thomas Davis is not far behind when it comes to linebacker play. Well, I'm going to tell you, the next guy that will make the Pro Bowl out of this group has to be Shaq Thompson. Guys, we have seen him out on the practice field during OTAs day after day after day, making jaw-dropping plays from the linebacker position. And last year, when the draft came, Nobody knew who this guy yeah, was, yeah, I mean, but, but the Panthers knew, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, TD was the unsung guy, sung guy in the group. Now it's quickly going to become Shaq Thompson. I mean, limited snaps last year. It's amazing what he did production-wise in those limited snaps. You know, a guy who came out of the University of Washington, as you were referring to, you know, somewhat an unknown quantity because he did everything in college, you know, including playing on offense. And some teams shied away from him. what position is this guy going to play in, in the next level. And the Panthers had a plan from day one from him, began to execute it more and more as the season went on. You know, even showed, uh, you know, his improved pass, uh, pass defense. We remember back to the playoff game against Larry Fitzgerald in, in, in the Arizona Cardinals. Awesome job there. And you can't help but talk about number one back up a guy who would be a starter on most teams, A.J. Klein. Yeah, I actually recently talked to Luke Keekley about A.J. as well, and this is a guy who said he does it all. And they're, they're so lucky to have A.J. Luke calls him a stud on this defense. Not many people know too much about A.J. because he doesn't get that many opportunities behind how good this linebacker group is. But when he needs to step in and play, he played so well. We saw last year. Of course, you never expect Luke Keekley to miss a game. The guy plays pretty much every snap he can, never wants to come out. But without him, A.J. was able to step in. They didn't miss a beat. Such a valuable guy to have in the rotation at linebacker and gives you that special teams as well. Well, Ben Jacobs adds death. Also, David Mayo, who was drafted last year. And a guy I want you to talk about, Brian, because i got to give you credit. <laughs> he gave me a heads up heading into the draft that this guy might be drafted. We ended up signing him as an undrafted free agent. That's Jeremy Cash, who is making a transition to linebacker. Yeah, I mean, still shocked that he wasn't drafted. The Panthers were fortunate to get him as an undrafted guy out of Duke. Um, we talked about Shaq Thompson, his versatility. That's a factor with uh, Jeremy as well. He played safety at Duke, so that's a transition that he's going to have to work his way through, obviously. Couldn't have a better group of teachers, though, than the guys that are right here at Carolina. Well, speaking of learning curve, they, you, we could call that the hot corner out there where those guys play. The young quarterbacks, three drafted this year in an effort to replace Josh Norman. Coming up on Panthers.com, that's what we'll talk about.